I'm joined now by Dennis Tigart of Regions Private Wealth Management. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my pleasure. And Dennis, you specialize in helping business owners, so I wonder what are some of the unique needs and things that are top of mind for business owners? Sure. Um, so, so business owners really have two sides. There's the personal side um, that everybody thinks about and you know, what does an individual need. But the business owner has their own very unique needs that can't be separated from the personal side of their life, but are often served in a slightly different way. So business owners think about when I'm growing my business, um, I may need access to capital to grow it, to expand it, take on a new line, new location. Um, so having a resource to provide them that capital on the timeline that they need is critically important. The, another one is how do I recruit, retain, and reward key people? Because the drivers of successful businesses are the employees. Uh, so how do I do that? Um, you know, what kind of plans do I have to have in place to secure those employees so they feel this is the best place to work? Retirement planning. For my key executives, what can I do that's different than the norm? They may have different needs. They may have higher compensation levels that aren't necessarily um, proportionally benefiting from traditional plans. Should I have executive benefit plans of some kind of in place? What have I done for myself as far as retirement? Um, Buy-sell agreements. If I have a partner and that partner dies or leaves, what's in place to make sure that I control the future of the business and the ownership of the business? So there's a whole plethora of different needs that business owners have that we can help with. The challenge from the business owner side is they're busy. They are running hard. Their head is down. Um, they are the business. So our opportunity in serving them is to help them think about those things and give them effective solutions. So certainly a lot of unique needs in addition to the needs that most people have. Very much so, very much so. To address those specific needs, what are some key considerations for business owners when selecting a wealth manager? Um, many of the clients we work with, we find that they have sort of bifurcated their advice. I've got my personal advisors take care of those things, but then if they're handling business, they're handling it separately. And the challenge with that is their life and their business aren't separate. Um, we look at it from a strategic perspective and say, how do those things intertwine? And how can we help serve all of those needs from the personal needs, you know, education for my kids, um, mortgages for my home, uh, retirement plans, the most effective way to invest, but then also the business, because the business is a huge driver of it. Um, how do I finance my business? What are the value drivers in my business that I need to lever to improve the, the profitability of the business, the value of the business, all of those things. So it's, they're very intertwined and, and our feeling is you can't best serve those if you don't have your advice linked. And I'm so glad you mentioned them being intertwined. I wonder, are there any additional benefits for uh, using the same institution for business financing as well as wealth management? I, I think there are. Um, and the key to that is that w the institution really needs to look at this as a relationship as opposed to how do I deliver products. The better that the institution understands that individual, um, their needs both on the personal side and the business side, the better we can do in serving those. So an example would be if we're serving the client on the, on the personal side um, and their business owner and we're aware of the needs of the business and how they link, then we can support and interact with the commercial side to help serve the financing needs of the business as well. And it makes the decision um, on the business side much easier when we have the full balance sheet picture for the client. So I do think that that makes a big difference. A lot of intricacies too, I'm sure, in terms of how they're linked. Very much so, very much so. Um, business owners 
obviously one of their largest assets and one of their primary drivers in life is the business. Um, so how does that business serve the family? And ultimately, you know, 95% of businesses in the country are family owned. And so there's, a, there's an interesting, everyone knows the Ben Franklin, there are two certainties in life, death and taxes. Business owners have a third. And it's the fact that 100% of businesses will transition. The question is, who will control that? So how that transition will occur um, is critical to the success and livelihood of the family. So they're very linked and very complex in getting business owners who have been successful by keeping their head down, nose to the grindstone, which sounds very painful, um, but clearly it's what they do, um, making sure that they think about that transition, how, who, when, and start to think about it early is critical to the whole, the whole value proposition for the client. Love the uh, Benjamin Franklin quote in there as well. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he would have taken credit for it because I believe he was a business owner too. And finally, Dennis, I wonder what's your outlook for small businesses from a wealth management perspective? You know, I, I think the outlook is, is tremendous. Um, we are becoming a small business driven economy. You know, almost half of all gross domestic product is driven by small business. Um, two thirds of new jobs, small business. The challenge is over the next 10 years, the expectation is that probably 70% of those businesses will transition. Um, the problem is less than a third of them have a formal plan in place. Um, and when that happens, when those two things um, cross, that's not a good outcome for the business. Um, business owners need to be planning. Businesses, small business is a tremendous driver for our economy. Um, more and more individuals are choosing to work in small business or create small business. That's great. Again, the challenge is, you know, have they, will they put into place strategies to effectively transition that business when that time occurs. And when that happens, two things need to occur. As they step out of the business, um, the role of the business changes. It now becomes a driver of their lifestyle. So there's a financial consideration in what they need from the business to write that next chapter in their life. And at the same time, the business has to still be very healthy and viable for that next generation or that new owner. So um, future's bright, beware of um, potholes. And what differentiates regions in terms of being able to address those needs for clients? Great question. I do think that that's one of our core competencies. We look at how we serve clients, whether they're individuals, business owners, executives. We look at it as a family office model, um, but with local presence. So your team is here. Um, when you have a need, whether it's investment related, estate planning related, um, just questions about your, your financial situation overall. Those resources are local. They are right here and they sit right across the table from you. When you have needs that sort of exceed that, get into a higher level of complexity or specificity, then we look at that next, that next circle on the target. And that includes resources like myself, like the wealth strategy team. So when you get to that next level, the team will bring in that, that resource to help support the, the client and their needs. So I think with that kind of model, with, the, with the, the tiered structure of the resources we bring, that just to use a business owner's example, you can take all the way from serving their personal needs to helping them identify um, potential buyers for the business and helping transact that, that sale, that successful transition of the business. We can do that for the clients. The challenge is, we're an unintentionally well-kept secret, so we need to change that. And uh, be ready for those transitions because they're exactly. inevitable, as you mentioned. That's well, Dennis, right. thank you so much for joining us. Thank Great you. Great to have you. Thank you. Great opportunity. Thank you. Appreciate it.